Okay, in this video, we're gonna be doing number two from the 2025 Calc AB exam. Um, and it's like the area volume problem and it's calculator. So let's take a look. Uh, the shaded region R is bounded by the graphs of F and G. F is X squared minus two X. G is X plus sine of pi X. And then we were given a figure. The figure is huge on the PDF. Um, I had to shrink it down. A, find the um, area of R. So the area of R, I mean, they gave you the bounds. You can see it's from zero to three. And you're just gonna do top takeaway bottom because this is uh, with respect to X. So uh, I'm gonna say for A, integral from zero to three. And then because the, fu the functions are named F and G, we wanna use their names. So the top curve is G of X. So we'll do G of X minus the bottom curve, which is F of X um, DX. In this case, because it's calculator, your calculator would tell you if you got F and G confused because you would just get a negative answer. Um, punched into my calculator, I use bounded area um, and I get approximately 5.137. And that's it. Uh, for part B, the region R is the base of a solid. For this solid, at each X, the cross section perpendicular to the X axis is a rectangle with height X and base in the region. So the area of a rectangle is base times height. The height is X, the base is in the region. So um, I'm gonna draw a little segment perpendicular to the X axis that's gonna be the base. So this segment right here that I'm calling S is the base of the rectangle. The height is just X, they give it to you. So the area of the rectangle is just X times S. Now S, because this is with respect to X, is gonna be a top takeaway bottom situation. So S is gonna be G of X minus F of X. And then what we wanna do is we just wanna integrate the area of a cross section to get the total volume. So we'll say the volume is gonna be equal to the integral from zero to three, X times the quantity G of X minus F of X DX. And then this is calculator. So on the calculator, I punched it in. I got approximately 7.705. And that's the entire thing. Let's take a look at part C, right? But do not evaluate, even though it's calculator, but do not evaluate an integral expression for the volume of the solid generated when R is rotated about the horizontal line Y equals negative two. So this, uh, I like to draw in the line. Um, it kind of messes up the figure like on the actual test, but also you don't have the figure in front of you anymore because now this is on the computer. So I don't know. Um, so I've drawn in Y equals negative two. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in a big radius and a little radius because I always want to do pi, the integral of big R squared minus little r squared. That's my goal. So big radius, little radius. You just go until you hit the outermost curve, and then you go until you hit the innermost curve. Now we just need to describe these. So it's definitely pi, the integral from 0 to 3. The big radius is we're starting at the axis, and we're going up until we hit g of x, and we want to do top takeaway bottom. So it's going to be the quantity top g of x minus negative, so plus two, and then we wanna square that whole radius, minus the little radius, which is gonna be, again, top takeaway bottom. It's just you start at the axis, you go until you hit f of x, so it's the quantity f of x minus negative, so plus two, and then squared dx. We don't have to evaluate this, and so, I mean, I guess we're done. If you had time on the exam, you could evaluate it on your calculator, just to see if you get a positive answer, because if you don't get a positive answer, you know you've set it up incorrectly, but you didn't have to evaluate it. I don't know why. Um, let's take a look at the next part. It can be shown that G prime is one plus pi cosine of pi X. They do that because not everyone has a calculator that can find derivatives, and so you don't wanna put anybody at a disadvantage. Um, find the value of x between zero and one at which the line tangent to the graph of f is parallel to the line tangent to the graph of g. So the slope of the tangent is the value of the derivative. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to solve g prime of x is equal to f prime of x. They didn't give you f prime, but that's just the power rule. And also this is a calculator question, so you don't even really need to find it, um, but it would be two x minus two. Um, so we're gonna solve this on the calculator. I did it two different ways. Uh, I, did, I use solve, but if you don't have solve, I also just solved by graphing. And you can see we get approximately 0.676. That's the entire question. Um, I hope this was helpful and good luck.